The story for The Claws of Axos is when a damaged spaceship containing beautiful humanoid creatures called axons lands on Earth, the Doctor, Joe, and Unit are sent to investigate. In return for their help, the axons offer the gift of axonite, which will which would end the world famine. It all it all appears to be too good to be true. So, what secrets are the axons hiding on board their ship, and why is the Doctor's old enemy, the Master, involved? This one is both an interesting and cheesy. It has a good environmentally themed story and plot, but the special effects and visual effects, as well as the costumes, are, well, cheesy. The Axonian uh, tentacled monsters look so fake and obvious that it is just a guy in a suit. The interior of the Axon spaceship had poor blue screen effects and obvious puppet work with uh, people's arms controlling claws and other things connected to the wall that capture characters. Other than that, this serial is quite fascinating, and the humanoid axons look a little cheesy, but at the same time, they do look beautiful, almost kind of like Greek god-like. In the end, uh, to stop the axons from destroying the Earth, the Doctor sends them in a pocket universe and, it, and in a time loop. Following this is a funny moment when the Doctor tries to describe what a time loop is. For those of you who don't know what a time loop is, uh, it is basically a moment being repeated over and over and over again. I actually have Vine Doctor Who when I watch it, and when I Vined this, somebody commented that the Doctor is actually describing Vine. Which is actually very true, because Vine is basically a time loop that repeats a six second video over and over again. Uh, not much to be said, so out of five stars I give this one two and a half stars. For fans of the series, the Axons are mentioned in the Tenth Doctor episode, The Last of the Time Lords, in the Series 3 finale of the Revival series during a scene between the Master and the Doctor. Once again, the Master flees in this serial, only to come again in the next serial. I must admit, it is getting tiresome to have the Master be the main villain in each serial in this series. Thankfully, that will end soon. Eventually. But not at this moment. I'm sorry this video review was short, but there didn't seem to be much to talk about. It seemed like a, there was a lot of the same soul, same O in this. There's, all I could talk about was just the main, main stuff in this. So, that's why it's short. And I'll see you next time on the next review. <laughs>